link at the top there. But it's all down to the hardware that you have to get Steam to work. Now, until recently, there was no RNDA for support in Steam, but they just released it. But getting it on there is tricky. It's not in the 3.7 version you download as the Steam Deck recovery image. So let's talk you through this. So basically, you do on this machine, I have to pull out the Ryzen card, pull out the 9060 XT. I have to install the 3.7 Steam Deck recovery image, and then it works. So I've got Steam all running. Then I have to go in and switch on developer mode. And there's a little tab that tells you you can see extra channels. And once you've done that, you can go back up and it says Steam. There's a mainline edition of Steam. You install that version, let that install, reboot, and then basically exit it, put your 9060 XT back in, reboot again, and you're here. Because basically that 90, that uh, Steam mainline edition allows you to have, brings the kernel up to 6.16.12 which allows, and Mesa 25, I think it is, which allows 9060 XT to run. So that's how you get there. You can't do it with Intel. You can't do it. You have to have a GPU that works with Steam 3.7 point, whatever it is, the current deck installer to get it on there, then do the upgrade, then switch to the 9060 cards and the 9070 cards working there as well. So you can do it, but it's a bit of a rigmarole. The long term, I don't think Steam's ever going to give you NVIDIA support. I don't think that's what they want to do. So you just have to bear that in mind. Uh, so you're never going to get uh, NVIDIA going. I mean, you can get Bazite and stuff like that. That covers all your bases. But if you're an AMD person and you use their cards, you quit it. You can, you can use this. However, there are a few issues.